Uh, we didn't mention that in third season we will have such a handsome surprise. So we will have. <laughs> Well, the fans in Europe, I noticed, have to use the computer a little more than fans in the United States do. Um, seems like everybody I talk to has seen all of the episodes, whether they are on TV or not. <laughs> Charlene wrote these books, which Alan Ball made the TV show. Now, during season one, uh, fans on the internet uh, of the books started posting pictures of who should play this werewolf named Alcide when he showed up on the show, and fans were posting pictures of me, saying <laughs> that I would make a good werewolf. Um, and so I heard about this and I bought the books, and I read the book, and in book three, uh, it says that Suki opens the door and looks up, and has to look up again, and uh, there's this giant dark-haired man with a beard standing there with, uh, you know, huge biceps, <laughs> the size of boulders that Suki can do pull-ups on, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, I, I kept bugging my agents, and, uh, and I got the audition, and I went in and met Alan Ball, and I had to pretend to be a werewolf. And um, so I was about 12 inches away from uh, the casting director's face, growling like a werewolf. And, uh, and I got the part. <laughs> Kolejne pytanie, pytanie o casting, pytanie ogólnie o przygotowanie do tej roli. Historia jest, jak się okazuje, dosyć śmieszna, ponieważ zaczęło się wszystko, to akurat może nie jest takie śmieszne, zaczęło się od bardzo interesującej książki, kilku, kilkutomowej. Ta książka przerodziła się później w telewizyjny show, książka, też seria tomów wydanych, zapisanych przez Szernika. I w pierwszym sezonie po pierwszym sezonie fani zostali zapytani o to, kto powinien ich zdaniem grać rolę Wilkołaka, Wilkołaka Alcida. No i z różnych nadesłanych zdjęć wynikało, że to właśnie ja chciałem grać. Stąd też skontaktowałem się ze swoim agentem, udało się zorganizować przesłuchanie. No i spotkałem się wreszcie z Alnem Bonar, a śmieszna rzecz jest następująca, otóż gdy odbywał się kasku, to musiałem w 40 cm od twarzy człowieka, który prowadził casting, udawać, że właśnie przeistoczyłem się wilka, a przynajmniej sam. You, you didn't make the sound. Uh, so what about the wolves on set? Because many people ask, are they real? 
who trains them, how you work with them actually, they are wild animals. They are wild animals, yes. Uh, uh, I, my wolf, when I turn into a werewolf, he is played by um, a North American timber wolf named Thunder. And uh, he's very friendly to me. Um, maybe not everyone else, but to me. He likes, he likes me. Um, and um, he doesn't care very much about acting. He's not very interested in, in filmmaking. Um, he's just very... maybe? He's not an... He, he's very hungry. Uh, so, uh, whenever you see a scene where, with the wolf, you know that there has to be a trainer uh, waving pieces of meat at him, usually over my shoulder, uh, at him to make him pay attention. Um, but uh, he's very, they're, they're huge, they're, they're enormous creatures. Um, they're as big as lions, and they have bright yellow eyes. And uh, they're like sharks, they don't stop moving. And they always, they're trying to look at you, and um, they're kind of scary at first. Um, and you forget that this isn't a dog, this is a wolf. Um, but, uh, but like I said, he likes me, so I'm okay. <laughs> There's been some ghost gossip all over LA that you have, you have been seen walking with wolves. Yeah, uh, because uh, he's my friend now. Uh, his trainers let me visit him where he lives, and uh, I get to take him for a walk. Um, but it's funny, uh, I know he's... <laughs> But uh, it's interesting because wolves are pack animals, much like werewolves on the show. And when I take him for a walk and I take him away from the other wolves, they all start to howl to, you know, you know to, to let him know where to come home. So, interesting. Panie Wilki, które są niepokojące, to jest bardzo ciekawe stworzenie, jako że ja może zacznę od końca, żyję w Batakach i 